Good morning, everybody. I um, hope everyone can hear me okay. I'm Steph from Simply Rhino, and I'd like to welcome you all to today's webinar, where we're going to look at Rhino Gold 5.5, um, which re launched recently at JCK in Las Vegas. Um, today, we're going to highlight the news of Rhino Gold 5.5 and look over some of the powerful modeling tools of Rhino Gold. Our presenter is Pedro. Pedro is the Rhino Gold CAD manager at TDM Solutions SLU. Pedro is a graduate of Sundor School of Jewellery in Portugal, and he joins us with over 10 years of professional design experience. The webinar will last approximately 50 minutes and is being recorded. We'll make the recording available soon on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions today, then please type them in and send them over to us. It's most likely we'll answer these in a Q&A session at the end of the webinar. If we don't get to your question, um, then, then we'll contact you shortly afterwards. So thank you to Pedro and the team at TDM, and I'm going to hand over now to Pedro for the presentation. Pedro, over to you, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stephanie, and thank you all the Simply Rhino team. It's a pleasure to have the chance to present Rhino Gold 5.5, and uh, of course, thank to all the attendees for joining us today in this webinar. So. I'm going to start with a brief introduction uh, of TDM Solutions, who we are and what are we doing. So TDM uh, was founded in 2001 and we are in Barcelona and uh, we are uh, developers of CAD CAM solutions for several industries. We are focusing on in jewelry with uh, Rhino Gold, our main software. But of course, we develop other softwares such as Clayu, Rhino Emboss, Rhino Nest, Rhino Shoe, and Rhino Mold. So uh, we are uh, worldwide. Nowadays, we have uh, over seven, uh, 75 resellers. And uh, today, we are going to see the new, the new version, the Rhino Gold 5.5 which was uh, released uh, two weeks ago in the JCK Las Vegas jewelry show. So I want also to show uh, what we will see today in this webinar. We will focus on the new tools in this new version. As you can see, we have the shank tool. We will see also the halo, the band, the, the the pendant by curve, the pave automatic, which was a, a, a tool we had before, but now we improve a lot of new functionalities. Also the bail tool, the ring by test, the pendant by test, and of course the render, which now it's included in Rhino Gold uh, 5.5. Also, we have uh, uh, released in this version the elements. We will we will uh, make a webinar uh, only focus on the elements. We will see how it will how it works. But uh, today we will we will be focused on these main tools. So uh, remember, if you have any question, uh, uh, feel free to use the chat and and. Uh, it will be a pleasure to answer all, or, all your questions. So I'm going to open now the, the Rhino Gold interface. As you can see, uh, now we have the, the Rhino Gold interface and uh, I'm going to start with the new tools. And uh, under the jewelry tab, we will see now the, the we have several new tools in this, in this tab. And I'm going to start with the shank tool. As you can see, the shank tool allows us to create uh, several ca several types of, of shanks. So let's take a look how it works. So as you can see, as always in the side panel, we need to define, of course, the ring size, any ring size we want. And we have also several parameters. We can define the, the, the outside curve. This curve will define the shape of the shank. So I can use, for instance, a, a normal curve, a circle, or I can choose any of these curves on the library. As you can see, we have several options. And remember, as always, we can add our own 
curves to the library to define our own shank, our, our own shape. Um, for this, I'm going to use the, the, the circle, the, the, the circle curve, and I'm going also uh, to define all the measures. As you can see, we have all the, the profiles. We can change the profile in this side panel. Easily, we can add a different profile in the top the same in the middle and of course in the bottom. So easily we can change the profile curves, we can adjust the, the measures or using the gumballs or in the parameters in the side panel and uh, as you can see it's really really uh, easy. Uh, there are several options, we can open the, the angle, we can define if we want a comfort type, as you can see it will be rounded inside, if we want also heavy comfort and of course the solid option which is flat inside and after the, the shank as, as you see we, we have all these possibilities, the, the eight, the, all the measures for, for the profiles and we also have the possibility to add gems. So we can turn on or turn off the gems. In this case, when we turn on, we just need to define uh, the number of, of gems. For instance, in this case, I can use five gems. And as you can see, uh, it will apply the gems uh, with also the prongs. As you can see, the last tab we have the prongs uh, parameters and we can define all the parameters for the prongs and of course for the gems. So uh, this is a, a very, very powerful tool. There are lots of different models can be done using this tool. After this I just click OK to add the, the shank to, to the document and uh, remember any moment we can edit the parameters so any moment I can select the model and edit. We will see um, now uh, other tools. Uh, I'm going now in this model I'm going to define the main gem so I just define with the gem studio tool. I define the main gem in this case with uh, five millimeters. This is the the Gem Studio tool uh, allow us to define any gem cut, as you can see. In this case, I'm going to, to use Brilliant Gem Cut and, of course, the material and the measures. So, uh, after this, I can define the gem position in here, in the top of the ring, and uh, I will also uh, uh, now define uh, the halo. So the halo tool will be under the jewelry tab and uh, I'm going just to define the halo tool and in here uh, I just need to define the, the, the reference object. The halo tool allows us to select or a gem or a curve. So remember we can apply a halo uh, around any gem or uh, a closed curve. After uh, this uh, we can define the, the halo parameters, uh, we, we can define the profile, for instance around profile and we have uh, all the options. Remember uh, as always we can add our own profiles and after this uh, we have uh, all the parameters, the, the position, we can move it down a little bit, maybe this is too much, a little bit less, and uh, the extrusion distance, as you can see, the, the, all the halo parameters we can easily define, for instance in the front view, it's, uh, I, I usually leave it uh, inside the, the, the curve the circle that defines the ring size and then I will cut the, the halo. So I uh, define the, um, also the, all the measures, the distance to the gem, I can easily define the distance in here 
and probably in this case a little bit less and of course all the gems uh, parameters as you can see in this in this side panel we can define all the parameters or uh, using the gumballs in the viewport uh, in the second tab we will find the 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 gems and prongs parameters so easily we can define gem size as you can see we can define uh, all the all the prongs uh, so we can define diameter we can define uh, different prongs from uh, the inside prongs and the outside prongs as you can see we can lock or unlock the 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 prong the prong tool and when we unlock we can define the outside prongs with a different uh, diameter than the uh, inside prongs so um, this is this is uh, the idea. Uh, easily, we can we can adjust everything. Of course, we also have distance distance between gems. We have all the parameters we need, and of course, the parameter uh, for the prongs inside. As you can see, we can define the prong uh, position easily. So. Uh, with a few clicks, as you can see, we can easily define uh, a halo around around the gem. So, um, as always, we need to click OK in the end, and uh, easily we can edit any of these tools. So, for instance, now I see that the the gem start with a halo. So, any moment I can select the the I was referring to the to the gems in the shank. So, any moment I can select the shank, edit the shank, and for instance, I need to open a little bit more this angle, so I can easily adjust the open angle in the shank, or even define the, the start pointing from the gems. So, as you can see, easily we can uh, adjust everything. So, uh, this is the idea, uh, the shank we can edit, the, the, the halo, so uh, we can also use these parameters in the side panel and click OK to uh, add the, the changes. Um, in this model I still need to define, um, to define the prongs for the main gem, so I can easily uh, I can easily define them using the using the prong the prong studio tool. So the prong studio, I just need to select the gem where I want to apply the prongs, and then uh, I just adjust. I just need to adjust the parameters: the the diameter, the height, the the cap height. So easily, I can define the prongs. And also uh, in the top view, probably it's easier, I can define the position. So easily I can adjust the prongs position. And of course, back to the perspective, I can adjust the gem inside, I can define exactly how I want to apply these prongs. So uh, this is uh, this is um, just a quick a quick uh, overview about the Halo tool, the Shank tool. Uh, let me now uh, cut the the inside part of the Halo. Uh, I can easily create a cutting object. For instance, uh, this curve the, I create with the gauge tool. I create the 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 circle that defines the ring size. And as you can see, I will use this curve. It will remember the last ring size used, it. and I will use this curve to cut the the halo. So uh, to do it, I can use the AutoCut tool in the under the modeling tab. So I just select AutoCut tool. I select the the curve, and then I select the halo. So as you can see, I can easily cut the halo in order to respect the ring size. 
So uh, this is the idea. We can, uh, with a few clicks, define a ring with, uh, with the gems, with the prongs. So uh, it's really, really easy, as you can see, with a, with a shank tool, with a, with a hello tool. I believe now everything is uh, much more automatic. We can also, of course, uh, customize all the parameters, but in a few clicks, it's very easy to define uh, a model. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to to move on uh, to show other tools. So I'm going to open um, a new file, and uh, I remember I have one file uh, prepared for the next uh, for the next uh, tool. I have some curves already defined. I just need to open uh, my file. So here it is. And uh, for instance, uh, um, I want to create a pendant. I have defined these curves already. So with uh, under the jewelry tab, I'm going now to show one of the new tools, the uh, pendant by curves. So this tool allows us to define a, um, a pendant uh, using a uh, using, uh, in this case, uh, this curve. So let's see how it works. It's really easy. The workflow, we only need to select the curves we want to use. So in this case, all these curves. I press Enter. And as you can see, uh, it will generate a solid. Of course, we have here the height. So we can easily define, I want this solid with, uh, let's use, for instance, two millimeters, and of course the thickness. We can easily also adjust the, the thickness, in this case 0.6, and uh, there is also the, the possibility to create holes if we want to, to select other curves to create holes in the model, and uh, also we have the possibility to create, uh, to create the bell, as you can see in here, it will uh, allow us to define the bail. Of course, we have the, the parameters to define the radius, to define the thickness inside of this tool. In this case, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to apply the bail, just define my pendant. And after this, I just click OK to add the model to the document. And now uh, I'm going to apply some gems on this pendant. So the idea is uh, also to show the, 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 new, the new possibilities in the Pave Automatic tool. Uh, I can, under the, the gems tab, I will open the, the Pave Automatic. And uh, now, as always, you will see in the side panel, we have the possibility to select the surface to apply the pave. So I select this surface. And now I just need to define the gems parameters. To do it, I can define a single gem size in here the distance between gems and the distance to border. Of course, there are also the, the possibility to define uh, uh, different sizes. So I can start, for instance, with gems with 1.6 and gems with 1.4, uh, the minimum size. So now I can define uh, uh, easily where I want to to apply the pave, let me just change the display mode to be easier. And I click on preview, and I just need to define the start point of the pave. So I can pick this point, and uh, now in this version we have the possibility to uh, orient the position. So as you can see, I can orient the, 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 the pave using this gamble, and after this, uh, I just click Enter to start calculating all the gems position. Of course, we can adjust any moment we can pause uh, the gems. We can adjust some positions. We can adjust some, some gem size, sizes easily. 
for instance, if I want to add more gems, I can define in here the gem size and add just clicking the position I want to add more gems. Of course, I can change the, the size, for instance, 1.3, and I can add another gem in here, another one in here, and another one in here. Okay, so uh, let me just finish to define the, the, the gems, another one in here, and uh, now uh, I will define uh, probably in here I can adjust the, the 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 size so using the keyboard I can you easily define the new size you will see when they are red it means they are touching so we can easily refresh the positions in order to respect the distance between gems uh, of course, in here I have the same possibilities, uh, define the, the position, the size, and uh, you will see now that we have the magnet option. So in this side panel, when we have the magnet option activated, you will see that if I move one gem, the other gems will try to follow in order to respect the, the distance, distance to, to, to the other gems. So we can we can easily um, adjust some positions and make sure everything is exactly as we need to apply the pavé. So I can uh, apply some more gems in here. Maybe in here I don't have more space. I can adjust the size. I can adjust the position. And uh, this is the idea. Maybe I have space for a small gem in here. Let's see. Okay. And uh, let me refresh. And now uh, I believe uh, it's okay. Maybe in the in the bottom I can adjust. I can, for instance, delete this one using the the keyboard and try to add smaller gems. For instance, one in here, other in here other in here and probably adjust this size and this size. So uh, we can easily define the parameters exactly as needed. Uh, maybe in here I can adjust as well the position and add another one here. So refresh. And uh, as you can see, this is this is the idea for the champs position. And uh, after this, uh, I just need to define the the prong. So inside the the pave automatic, we still have the the prong parameter. So we just open the prong tab and we turn on the prongs. As you can see, the inside prongs will be added automatically. Of course, we can adjust the the diameter for all the prongs, the eight, everything, and now we just will need to define the outside prongs. So the prongs from these outside uh, positions, I just go to add, and in here I can define easily the other prongs. As you can see, I can define the prongs position, just click on the position I want to add a new prong. Remember we have all the parameters for the sizes, everything. So easily as you can see, I just define the new positions for the prongs. Now in here, and again in here. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see. 
this is uh, this is uh, very easy. Uh, now I'm just defining the Bronx position. Just click and remember as the ch as the gems the same with the prongs. We can then select each prong individually and adjust all the details, position, size, everything. Okay, so I just keep defining the outside prongs and now I will define also in here. I realize in here I have space for another gem. Okay. Another one in here, here, and maybe here. Okay, so just filling with the prongs and Okay, in here I could add another another gem. Of course, now I just fill with some more prongs, and uh, this is this is the idea. I just uh, press enter, and I can click OK to add all the gems and the prongs to the to the model. As you can see, uh, easily we apply the pavé on the pendant. Um, I also want to show the new bail tool. Uh, it's under the jewelry tab. Uh, this tool allows us to create the, the pendant bail easily. So the bail, I just need to define uh, of course the, the, the first curve, the main curve. Uh, I will use for instance the number three. And uh, after this, I can use uh, the gumballs, or I can define uh, in the the side panel all the measures. So, with a with a few clicks, I can define the gumballs, uh, the the measures. I can define also the profile. So we have a top profile. I can select any from here. For instance, number two. And of course, the measures, I can define this one with uh, five millimeters or maybe less, 4.5. And uh, the same in the bottom, I just define the pendant, so, uh, in this case, the profile. And of course, I easily adjust the measures I want to use. So um, remember we can double click easily to adjust the size uh, and everything is defined. I have also the possibility to define the torus so I just turn on and I can define the position and of course uh, the radius, the thickness, and everything. So, as you can see, it's really easy. These new tools allow us to define to define uh, the models with a few clicks. And of course, now I just add the the model the the tor the the build to the document. If needed, I can adjust the the position like this and as you can see now we have the pendant defined. Uh, there are uh, there are more tools I would like to, to to show so I'm going to move on to the to the next one. Let me let me open a new a new uh, file and in here uh, I will now uh, would like to show you the, the we have the ring by text which is a 
very interesting tool. Uh, let's take a look how it works. Let me change the display mode. And as you can see, this tool allows us to create a text, directly apply it on a ring, and uh, of course we have uh, all the all the options in the side panel, so I can easily define the font. So let's choose uh, okay any font for the for the for the text. Um, I can also uh, define uh, the measures, I can define uh, any text, let's type Rhino Gold and let's see the results. So let's see, as you can see automatically apply the text, of course we have the, the size we can to find the letters with uh, 10 millimeters. Also, we have the the thickness. So the idea is to define uh, any ring with text easily. As you can see, um, we have um, the the thickness for for the letters as well. So let's type. Let's use 2.5 millimeters. And now, uh, finally, we have all the shank possibilities. So, uh, just one, one final detail, we can also define the angle for the letters. For instance, it's 100, we can define 120 degrees. And let's see. Now uh, easily we can adjust to the, the all the parameters to define exactly the ring we are looking for. And then finally the shank. So the shank also allows us to define all the measures and of course uh, the profile. So we have the, the we can define the profiles in the top of the shank and in the middle of the shank. So uh, now I can change the, the, the curve, I can use for instance this one and uh, let me see, it's calculating, so let's see the results. We can see that we have a profile in the top from both sides and we have a different profile in the, in the bottom, so we can also change the bottom profile to make any of these. Uh, and of course the, the the thickness for the shank so easily we can define a, a new thickness let's let's use 1.5 for instance and this is the idea with the ring by curve in, in this case the ring by text and easily we can define the model as we need. So this is the result. We can uh, define all the, the space between, le between letters, everything, and uh, this is the result. Um, we also have created a, a, a pendant by text. Uh, let, me, let me show this new tool. It's also a very nice one. Uh, let me open a new file to show this new tool. And dependent by text, it's it's uh, uh, similar. So uh, we have all the text parameters we can define, or using the gumballs, or using the the side panel. And uh, the idea uh, is, uh, of course, to define uh, the text I want to use. Let me define any text, and uh, we uh, can define now the. The, the letters bold or italic, we can define the space between letters, as you can see uh, we can use, uh, um, if, we, if we use uh, a distance between letters it will connect the letters in order to define a single object, 
or we can uh, define uh, letters inside each other so we have all the possibilities uh, the thickness, the the height with the gumball, and um, finally uh, we can define a, a curve. So we can use or this point gumball to define a curve to the text, or we can use uh, directly. Well, in both directions, uh, uh, not only to the bottom, also to the top to define one arc to this to this uh, pendant. And uh, we also have the bail. So in here we can add. Let's let's say I want to add two bails. I just define the position of the bail. As you can see, I can use one on each side of the pendant. And uh, after this, uh, I can also uh, I have the possibility to define a, a flat or not. Of course, as many as I need, I can add more bales. And as always, we have the, the, the bale thickness, we have the radio, so easily we can define the bales exactly as needed. Um, I believe uh, we have seen uh, all, the, all the parameters, of course, the, 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 the size, the, the, the size of the the size of the text and uh, the, the font. So uh, from here the bell, uh, I would say that we have seen uh, everything. Probably I would uh, adjust uh, the, the distance between letters or the size, but uh, this is the idea. With, with a single tool, with a few parameters, with, uh, we just easily define uh, a text pendant or a uh, any any object uh, for for using this this uh, text easily. Um, I also uh, want to show um, the band tool. Uh, the band tool allow us to create a, a shadow band apply and applied on on uh, any model. So let me open a, f um, a ring. And uh, I have saved the ring. Uh, I believe I have saved the ring. We have created the first model. And uh, let's say that now uh, I'm going to hide this curve. And let's say that now I want to create a band for this model or or two bands. So let's let's see the workflow with the workflow now with the band tool. So. Um, as you can see, in the jewelry tab, we have the band icon, and uh, it will automatically calculate the the, the band uh, with the model, in this case, with the ring on the on the document. So, as you can see, it will automatically try to to adjust the shape. We will see that we have uh, more possibilities. For instance, the adaptation to the new to the new uh, ring we can easily adjust as you can see I can try to make it uh, the curve more uh, similar to the ring or I can uh, well this is just the tension of the curve and uh, I can make it uh, like this I believe like this position it's 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 good but uh, also uh, we have the possibility uh, to create not only uh, the shadow band but a straight band which in this case would be straight completely straight uh, in this case I prefer the shadow band and uh, let's see what uh, other parameters we we have available so we can define the bend position in the front or in the back. As you can see, uh, any of these positions, or of course, if we want, we can apply both positions for the bend. So, uh, as you can see, it will be easily calculated according to the ring, to the main ring. And uh, in this case, I want to use it just the front, and I will uh, also uh, Define. Uh, we have all the parameters: the the eight. We have the the 
the side, the side, the, the wall thickness, so all the parameters are available, so we can easily customize. Uh, also, uh, we have the possibility to create the gems and cutters, so in this case, uh, the channel uh, possibilities uh, allow us to define one angle for the gem, so instead of uh, 180, if I want to use just 100 uh, degrees, it will generate gem just in this top part, or if I want completely full of gems, I just define 360 degrees. As you can see, easily it will apply uh, the gems all around the ring. Also, uh, of course, as you can see, the gems and the, the cutter along the gems, I can, of course, define all these possibilities. In this case, probably I want to define the gems position a little bit inside of the of the of the bands. And uh, as always, uh, we have the possibility to uh, change the profile. So I can create a round profile. I can create uh, any of these curves. I can apply any of these curves. And uh, as always, uh, we can add the, the our own curves to customize exactly as needed. Uh, so uh, the, the the main parameters are these ones. Uh, as you can see, it's really really easy to create now the the shadow band uh, based on any model. We can easily apply the shadow band on the ring and of course uh, after this I just click OK uh, to apply the changes. So this is this is the this is the main idea, the, the new tools uh, uh, that are also the the elements which which is a very powerful solution. We will be focused on this on the next webinar, so uh, for now I'm just just showing the 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 the, the new commands, but uh, uh, I believe in also in the in the next webinar with the elements will be really really interesting. So uh, for now uh, um, we have seen in from the version four to version five we ha we had lots of new tools. And from version 5 to 5.5, we add uh, these tools and the uh, elements. Remember, for uh, Rhino Gold 5 users, the update is free. So uh, if you need, if you want to update from Rhino Gold 5 to 5.5, just go to mytdmsolutions.com. Let me just open the, the web page. As you can see, mytdmsolutions.com, if you don't, uh, if you uh, don't have an account, account, just sign up. So just fill the the registration form, and uh, uh, after this, uh, it will be uh, available after the the login in this web page. All the updates, uh, in this case, the the latest versions will be available, and it just download and install for the new for the new version. Um, so um, from 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 here, uh, I would like to also uh, uh, to know if you have uh, to have any questions. Uh, uh, feel free to 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 ask uh, any questions you have. It will be our pleasure to to help. If if you if you if you use the chat, uh, we will we will answer all your questions. So. Uh, from from uh, our side is everything, uh, Stephanie. Uh, Thank uh, you, Pedro. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you're I'm welcome. <laughs> that was right. That was brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, you're welcome. I've had a couple of questions. Um, of just course. obviously, um, you're showing the Rhino Gold interface, but obviously yes. most of our simply Rhino uh, users oh. are more familiar with the Rhino interface. Um, of course. Is there something you can show um, with of the Rhino tools working within inside that? Yes, uh, actually, uh, uh, of course, everything uh, it's also available inside Rhino interface. Uh, usually, we we 
we show in 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 Rhino Gold in, in, uh, interface, but the workflow, the 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 tools, it's exactly the same. Let's take a look to the uh, Rhino interface. We will see that uh, with the um, with the new version, uh, well, the 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 the, the Rhino tool, the Rhino Gold toolbar inside Rhino interface, we have all the Rhino Gold tools. So you can see the transform tools. We can see all the gem tools. So let's let's uh, just, uh, for instance, define also a shank, and we will see the workflow. It's exactly the same. So we can see uh, everything is available, or the or the Rhino Gold interface, or this one. So easily we can define uh, the same the, the the model with the same workflow. We we have the the parameters in the side panel, and uh, of course uh, now with the viewport we can use the gumballs, and uh, it's uh, everything it's available as well inside Rhino interface. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Pedro. You're welcome. And just uh, lastly, um, just something about, um, somebody's asked about uh, recommended minimum spec requirements, um, because obviously you're running sort of some powerful rendering and sort of modeling tools there. Do you have some advice on um, sort of rec minimum recommended specs that you would, you would say? Yes. Uh, actually, um, uh, I, um, Probably the easiest way to recommend it's in in our in our web page. We can find under the tdmsolutions.com. Uh, in Rhino Gold, we have uh, the system requirements. So uh, the main difference between the, the the Rhino Gold 4 and Rhino Gold 5 is now we only support 64-bit uh, windows. So um, uh, now it's it's really important to use. Uh, a uh, 64-bit uh, system, and of course uh, all the rest, uh, the the Windows 8, 7, or 8, and uh, uh, the we will find all the requirements in in this page. Of course, uh, if if anyone has any question with a specific with a specific uh, computer, feel free to email us, uh, and we will help we will help with with uh, any information needed. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Okay. okay. I, I think we are done there. That's awesome. Um, thank you very much, Pedro and everybody and the team over there at TDM. And um, of course, uh, join us, everybody, for the next one, next webinar, where Pedro will be showing us, um, I believe it's Elements um, yes. and some other things. And that's on Wednesday, the 8th of July uh, at 11 a.m. UK time. So um, sign up for that one and hopefully we'll see everybody there. So um, thank you very much, everybody, for attending. And thanks again to Pedro. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.